Hello people, today we're going to another video on the Nietzsche's Interpreters series. Today we're going to talk about Brazilian philosopher and professor Roberto Machado. My name is Rodrigo Guim, anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. Today we're going to talk about Roberto Machado's book Nietzsche and Truth from 1984. In this book, Roberto Machado says that the genealogy of truth that Nietzsche makes assumes two positions regarding the truth. First, with respect to the dominant Western Christian way of understanding truth as morality, while being composed of the opposition between truth and lies, where truth would be the opposite of lies and where truth is good and lies evil, Nietzsche makes, comes to make an inversion. Machado says, citation, against the metaphysics that postulates the truth as a superior value, the genealogy affirms the greatest value or even the only value of the term that was denied and considers the appearance, the error, illusion, the lie, the dream as more fundamental than the truth. End of citation. And then Machado quotes an excerpt from Nietzsche's book, The Gay Science, that says, citation, What is appearance for me now? certainly not the opposite of some essence. What could I say about any essence except to name the attributes of its appearance? Certainly not a dead mask that one could place on an unknown X or remove from it." End of citation. And Machado will show how, for Nietzsche, it's not a case of affirming the appearance against the real world. Rather, it is about seeking to place oneself beyond the very dichotomy of values between a true world that would be superior and a false world or appearance that would be inferior. When Nietzsche affirms the concept of appearance and says that the artist would be able to live in a world of appearances with a good conscience, it's not because the artist is a denier of the truth, Quite the contrary, the artist would be an affirmer because he affirms the truth of the lie, of error, of illusion. There is no real world that opposes an apparent world. The very metaphysical duality of the world is called into question. Machado shows that Nietzsche makes a certain defense of appearance, but that Nietzsche does not stop there. Machado says, citation, The defense of appearance, illusion, falsehood, lies, is not the most radical nor the last word of Nietzsche. It is still within the field of critiqued values, even if it opposes them. End of citation. That is, in making the defense of appearance, Nietzsche was still consciously using, as he makes it clear, the dominant concepts. Because the concept of appearance appears only because of a concept of a true world that is opposed to appearance. That is why Nietzsche doesn't stop with the defense of appearance. He went further. Machado continues, citation, What Nietzsche saw most profoundly with his philosophy was the need to move beyond good and evil and beyond truth and appearance as a requirement to overcome the metaphysical opposition of values." End of citation. And Machado quotes an excerpt from Nietzsche's Twilight of the Idols that reads, citation, We have abolished the real world. What world is left? The apparent, perhaps? But no, with the real world, we have also abolished 
the apparent world. End of citation. For Nietzsche, dividing the world between true and false or true and apparent is a symptom of a life and culture of decay. Machado interprets Nietzschean thought as a tragic and Dionysian thought and that Nietzsche brings to us this tragic way of thinking, living, feeling reality, this tragic way of facing reality uh, as a necessary cure, a vaccine against the will to dominate true world as a negation of this world. Against this, the Nietzschean vaccine is the affirmation of appearances by the affirmation of the world and by the demonstration that every will for a true and univocal world is a will against life itself. Well, that's it for today. If you can, please support this project on Patreon. The link will be in the video description. With the support, you can have access to many other courses I am giving this year and other years on volumes 2, 3, and 4 of the History of Sexuality, for example, and other courses on Nietzsche and Foucault. I want to thank all my supporters and see you next week.